Hey everyone, welcome to my second tutorial on Paintball Net. Um, so in this video I want to cover just um, the basics of getting started with your gear and, and what you actually do in the game. Um, so as a new player, um, you start out with some basic equipment that, uh, that you need to modify a bit um, in order to just kind of have a better experience and, get, and make it easier to get some kills. Um, so you start out with a basic paintball gun a woodland camouflage jacket, a pair of running shoes, and maybe one more item that I'm missing there, but that's, those are the basic things. The most important things you need to do, though, are upgrade your gun, um, which I'm going to show you how to do, and, uh, and change your shoes. Um, there's those, I think those two things are, with your beginning money, um, you think you start with $1,000. Um, the, the best two buys you should make are those. Um, so what, you, what do you do? You go to the top left store here. Um, Okay, and you're going to sell your original gun, the gun that you start with. You use the slash sell command. Every command in Paintball Net has the slash but forward slash in front of it. Slash sell, and then space, and then gun. You can abbreviate um, certain things in this game. So slash sell gun, that will sell your original gun, um, and you'll get your money back for that. And what you want to do is buy the semi-automatic paintball gun. Um, it's slightly better. The rate of fire is better. It recharges faster when you're firing. It's more responsive. It costs $500, so you want to just select it and then hit the buy item button over here on the left. Okay. Um, and once you buy it, um, you always want to type for any item you buy slash where. You want to type slash where gun and that will like equip it on your character. Great. So you got your gun. You're you, you've just upgraded your gun. The next thing you're going to do is, so your gun has a, a starting capacity of 30 paintballs. Your, your loader or your hopper, it's called a hopper, um, has a starting capacity of 30 paintballs. It, it's okay, but we, there's, it's very cheap to kind of get a, a greater capacity. So we're going to go to the top right store over here, um, or eastern store, I guess if you want to say, northeastern store. And you're going to buy something called the hopper expansion kit. Okay, it's only $250, um, and in order to put any kit on any item in this game, the command is slash assemble, okay, and then a space, and then the item. So we're going to slash assemble, and then kit, because we just bought that kit, and then the word gun, and it's going to mount the kit on our gun. It's the same formula for any other item. For example, I put a swim kit on my shoes, and so it would be slash assemble kit shoes, and that will put, I put a swim kit on there, so it'll just mount it on there. In order to mount items or assemble them, you need to have them in your hands. So you might need to get get some item, store, put some items in your jacket or store them somewhere in your backpack or something like that. If you're manipulating items, you need to have both of them in your right and left hands. So in order to mix them, sort of, right? Um, great. Um, so you've got your, your semi-auto gun, you've got your hopper expansion, and you're going to go back to the, to the uh, northwestern store here, the, the top left, and you're going to reload now. Now, there's a button at the bottom of your, like, preset, all your preset buttons. There's a reload gun button, and that's the one you want to click. And basically, it's a macro that has, like, three commands strung together. It's going to buy box, it's going to buy the box of paintballs, dump the box of paintballs into your gun, and then sell the box. So you just click it. And it'll, it'll automatically reload. You click it three or four times because your gun, thanks to the expansion, can now carry uh, up to 130 paintballs. So just keep clicking it, reload, reload. And, uh, and then there's another button that is look gun that will show you how much paint's in your gun. So you can see here it says uh, the gun is made of metal and is 11% full, so I definitely need some ammo. It says the gun contains 14 cyan paintballs. So... It'll tell you that, and it'll say 100% full if you're full. Um, so that's it. Um, so that's how to reload your gun uh, in between games. Um, the next upgrade you want to get is a pair of shoes. Um, you want to do the same thing. You want to sell your original shoes, so type slash sell shoes. It'll sell your original shoes. And you're going to buy um, the trail shoes. Um, you're going to just click buy item, and then you're going to do slash wear shoes to wear the new item you bought, right? Slash wear, slash sell, slash assemble. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, you got your shoes, you wore your
your shoes, um, and you're ready to roll. That's pretty much the basic equipment you need. Um, you don't want to spend too much money because, like I said, you want to keep $100 on you to reset your games once you've played 25 games so that you can keep playing more. Um, and you just don't want to spend a lot because you don't have that high of a weight capacity. Your character can't carry that much yet. Um, you have to buy more weight capacity, and that costs $2,500, so you want to save up for that. Um, so I think with that, with these basic things, you'll be able to get some kills and get started, start killing some bots and making money. Um, and you've got the basic commands down. Now, there are some other basic commands that uh, you need to know. The first is how to get ready, right? If you're not ready in this game, you're going to stay in the staging area, which is the area where you kind of like reload, get, your, get new equipment, you know, um, just talk to people and hang out. But if you want to play in, in an actual battle, you have to hit the ready button which is down here. It says you set yourself ready for the next game. Okay? I'm going to unready. But there's the ready button. Now there's a way for you to set your game to automatically make you ready, to like auto ready, and the command is slash game ready auto. And you can see here in the list of players that I went auto. So now it's automatically going to put me in the next game. Um, oh, and there, I'm in a game right now. So, let's play. <laughs> okay, it launched a game right when I uh, went ready. So, I've got 14 shots. This is going to be tough. And here come the bots. Oh, God. Okay, this is going to be tough. I got one seven paintballs left and I've got like four more bots to kill because I think I have my bots set on five. Here come the bots. Got one. Ow! Ugh, but one got me. He just detonated himself. Covered like 20 spaces. Alright, so I didn't get any. I got two, two dollars for two kills. When you win, you make more money. You win like thirty dollars, forty dollars. Depends on how many players are online and um, there's also items you can pick up. There's things called tokens, which are like little gold coins, and you can pick them up in the games, in the uh, and you can sell them, and they're worth like 20 30 40 dollars each, so that's a way to get your money up and boost your earnings. What was I going to do, though? Okay, I was going to show you, oh, yeah, slash game ready auto. That's how you set your character for auto ready. To cancel it, you just click ready again, it'll turn it off. Okay, um, other commands, I'm trying to think right now, um, there's the swap button at the bottom that will swap the items in your hand, okay? So I'm swapping there. That's important. Um, uh, I have my gun in my right hand. Remember, the first item listed up here at the top by your money and your name is the right hand, then the left hand, all right? Another important command, when you, you can use your jacket to store things. It has like a pocket in it. It has a certain capacity. Uh, and for that, you use slash put. So, for example, I have a can. I'm going to slash put can jacket. And it puts my jacket, puts my can into the jacket. You can see the item disappeared here from the top because I've only got my gun now. All right. Now, so slash put. And to get it back, type slash get can jacket. Space between each word. And you get the can back. All right, that's how you put and get. Um, and you can use that with jackets, backpacks, other containers, um, etc. Um, so slash where, slash assemble, get cam. Um, I believe that's it. That's, those are the basic commands. Um, and then at the bottom here on your buttons, you can actually customize the way these buttons are set up and, and kind of set your own macros. So like, for example, um, I actually have a, a, a put can or a pack can and a get can. Um, the command is put, by the way. It is put. I just named it pack because I did. But these are the buttons. You can, you can change them up wherever you want. You can change the location. You can change what they do. You can string commands together. Now, the, the difference is when you're typing in the interface, you use slash, but in the buttons, you don't need to put slash. It's like pre-programmed, so you literally just type put can jacket with no slash just three separate words and it'll do it and you can also combine uh, commands with the ampersand the and symbol symbol and you can do other things so you can set a macro to, to do all sorts of things um, so 
That's it for basic commands. Up here in the top left, you'll see the names of players that are online, if they're ready or not. And then the next number you see over to the right of the ready is the number of uh, splats, the splats they have or the kills. And then finally you've got um, the, the team that they're, you can form teams or clans in this game. And it shows you that too. So that's it for now. I'm going to uh, make a different tutorial and keep going over things uh, later on. Thanks.